Here we are at problem 3c. We're asked to find the limit as x approaches 1 of this particular rational function. Now, if we go ahead and try our direct evaluation by substituting 1 in to this function, we would see that we would end up with a 0 over 0 in determinant form. And unfortunately, that's not going to quite help us. So one thing that we can do uh, to kind of counter that is to go ahead and factor this to see if something ends up canceling out. So we're going to go ahead and factor our top and bottom. So when we do that, we end up with the limit as x approaches 1 of 7x times x. And what we want to do is multiply two things that multiply to give us 3 that add up to negative 4, but this 7 is also playing a role. So typically I just tell my Algebra 2 students to just kind of play with the numbers until they get the right combination. Uh, in my eyes, what this really does is actually work on their number sense skills. And actually immediately I can see that 3 is going to go here and 1 has to go here. And that only, again, is just practice, practice, practice. And uh, by the end of the year, my students have actually gotten pretty solid with that. So um, I know that this has to be negative, this one has to be positive uh, in order to get that negative 4 that we're actually looking for. I know a lot of other methods include like, you know, the Xbox method or the box method. Um, but again, I, I'm a big proponent of not, not necessarily guessing and checking, but it's more educated guessing and checking because, you know, I, I feel like that really works on their number sense skills. Um, right away, this has to be negative, negative, and then the only two numbers that work are one and one. So now we factored the top, factored the bottom, and it looks like these x plus 1s can end up dropping out. Now let's go ahead and see if we can use that direct evaluation. So we have the limit as x approaches 1 of 7x plus 3 on top over this 3x minus 1 on the bottom. Now when we go ahead and plug in that value 1, looks like we end up with 7 times 1 plus 3 on top all over 3 times 1 minus 1. And this will just eventually simplify out to be 7 plus 3 over 3 minus 1, which eventually just comes out to be 10 over 2, which is just simply 5. So that's what that limit would come out to be. Now, again, what's happening here is as x approaches 1, in the original question, as x approaches 1, for this particular rational function, that whole big thing, uh, as you get closer and closer to 1, your y value would approach a limit of 5. So in other words, your y value would get closer and closer to 5. So again, that is problem number 3c. From 